Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Research Campus. So in today's tutorials, I'm going to show you how to make videos using PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how you can record yourself and your slides and turn it into a video using just PowerPoint. We're not going to be using any external software like Zoom, Loom or uh, anything like of that sort. So we're going to be using just PowerPoint to record our video. And then you can share normally, you can share on uh, social media, you can share to students or maybe to your professor. So I'm using the Office 365 app right now. And there are some functions that you won't be able to see with the older versions of Microsoft Office. So I just want to give you a heads up. So I'm using the, the latest version, which is 365 app. Now to get 365 uh, Office 365 app on your laptop, you need to pay for that subscription. But there is a way around it. And I have created a video on that. So you can, I'm going to leave the link of that video. The title of the video is how to download and install Microsoft Office 365 app on your laptop for free. So you can go watch the video and you can download it and install it on your laptop and you can start using it normally as I am using it right now. Now, let's go into the tutorials and start seeing how we can actually create a video on PowerPoint. But before we get right into the tutorials proper, if you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Risa. I'm a Cameroonian content creator, blogger and online business coach. This channel, you're going to find videos on tech productivity, online businesses, and so much more. So if you like such contents, please consider hitting the red subscribe button and also turn on notification bell so that YouTube will be able to notify you every time I'm making, every time I post any of such educational content. And so without much further ado, let's get into the tutorials and see how we can record our presentation or how I can make a video using PowerPoint. Now, the first step of actually doing your video on or using PowerPoint is to actually is to, is to create your slides. So make sure you have your slides ready, as you can see on the left hand side of my um, of my screen. You can see my slide is ready and now we can start recording or present. Do, we can start doing our presentation. Now, once you have your slide ready, you're going to go to the top, which is the right fat or uh, to the right corner or the top right corner of your board of your screen. You're going to see the record button. Click on record. And immediately you're going to see your video right now. So and you're going to see your slides ready. So you can start doing your presentation normally. Now, let's say we want to start recording our video. Now, first of all, let's take a look at what these tools around our slides is all about, what their functions are. So the first one is the slides, is this option where you can navigate through different slides. In case you want to go to the next slide, just click on the right arrow, it takes you to the next slide. And in case you want to go to the previous slide, click on the back arrow in, and it takes you to the previous slide. Now, let's take a look at these tools at the top. Now, the first one is the start record button, which is the big red button you see here. So this is where you can start and end your recording. The next one is a microphone. This is where you can turn on and off your microphone. If you don't want anybody to hear what you're saying. So this is where you can turn it on or off. The next one is the camera turn. You can turn your camera off so that the, the, the audience will not be able to see your video right now. So when I click on this, you see my video disappears. And when I click back, it comes back right here. So that is what I mean. Okay, next is this pen tools right down here. So the first one, we have a highlighter. The next, we have a pen tool and you have the eraser tool, which is not highlighted right now because there's nothing written on our slide. The next one is a laser tool. That is if you don't want any thing on the slide. We don't want to write anything on the slide, but you just want to emphasize on something. So let's take a look at how we can use this pen tool. So let's start with the highlighter. So in case you want to highlight anything on your slide, just click on the highlighter and then choose the color of the ink. So if you like to choose black, you can choose black and then you can write something like that. You can highlight anything you want to do with it. And you can, you can see that the eraser button now has um, 
is, is it has come on so you can click and then use it to erase what you've written on the slide the next one is the pen tool the same thing click on the pen tool choose your color let's say red in this case and then write you can change the color if you like blue you can change and then you can also use uh, the eraser to erase everything so that is what it looks like and for the uh, laser tool in case you don't want to stain your slides by writing anything on it but you want to um, you want to show emphasize on something by showing your audience you can just show it like that and that is how it goes so that is what this tools are for another thing i want to show you is a blur background option as you can see you can see that my background is blurred right now that is because i have made it so now in case you want to blow your own background come here and then this is where you can choose the blur background option so if you can see this will be automatically on and you see that my background is now showing you can click here to blur it and it won't show so this is a great option if you don't want any distraction at the back so if you don't want your audience to be distracted by what is happening behind you you can do that okay now once you are um, now that we're done with that to start recording your slide or your presentation let's start with the first slide great we're going to click on the start record button you're going to see the countdown great and then you can start doing your presentation normally you can go to the next slide when you're done do your presentation normally go to the next slide and then explain what the slide is talking about everything that is on the slide when you're done go to the next slide explain talk more on this and actually it's recording and then when you're done just keep going keep continue and record and that is how you can do your slide presentation so once you're done recording now in case as you can see this is the last last slide slide six of six so it's the last slide if i click and go to the next slide it's going to automatically end my recording so that's another way you can end your recording you can also click here to stop recording so you can see when i click here it automatically ends so that is how it looks okay so after you're done with your recording you can click the stop recording of course or you can click this um the next slide after the last slide and it will automatically end your recording and you're going to see the play button on each slide so let's go let's just navigate so this is where we started our recording when you click here you can automatically see that my video is not moving so you can click to start and then you can start doing your presentation. Then go to the next slide. Great. You're done. Do your presentation. Normally go to the next slide. And then the same with the slide is talking about everything that is on the slide. So immediately you see that every time I am trying to move on to the next slide, there is this little pause that happens. Now, what happens is when you do you record a slide, you explain everything that is on that slide. When you're done with that slide and you move on to the next slide, there will be a slight pause until it goes to the you go to the next slide. And once that slide appears, the next slide appears, that is when the audio the recording continues so that was that is what happens with powerpoint so when you're done with this slide the once you go to the next slide that is when the recording would continue that is when the recording would continue so that is how it works now once you're done with everything you've recorded your slide the next thing is to export your video now this is our video to export the video we're going to click on export here And then here you can just give a name to your slides. Let's give this name PowerPoint G. Right? And then you can choose where you want to save your video. Click on Browse. And then let's say we want to save it on our, on our desktop or anywhere that we want to, somewhere that you can easily access it. And then just click on Export. And you're going to see these lines on this and you're going to see this line until it completely fills up that is when the video will be exported successfully 
Okay, so you can see the you can see now the video ha has been exported successfully. Now let's go to our desktop and retrieve our video. But first, let's look at how the record our um, PowerPoint slides is going to look like. So let's first of all just close this. And now this is how the slide is going to look like. You can see that each slide has a little video on top of it. If I hover my cursor around it, you're going to see these, um, these options, these functions here. You can see the play button. You can play. And then you start doing your presentation. So each slide has a video on it. So every time, you can, that's why there's, there was a little pause. Every time I shift and go to the next slide, that is when the video of that slide starts so you can play and listen to what that slide is talking about what the presenter is saying on that particular slide rather than going through everything from the beginning right to the end so you can just skip and go to the slide and see what the presenter is saying so the presenter can add either um send this as a video format to their students or again they can just uh, export it normally like what we did and save it to our desktop and again they can share it either to youtube youtube facebook whichever social media platform they want to share to they can either share it say share it to give it um, to their students or maybe go give it to a professor or whoever they want to share the video with now let's go to our desktop and retrieve our video so this is our desktop right now. This is the video. We save it as PowerPoint V. Just click on it and you can start playing the video normally. Let's increase the volume. Talking about everything that is on the slide. Because the next slide explaining talk more on this. So once you're done recording, this as you can see, this is the last, last slide, like six of six. So it's the last slide. If I click and go to the next slide, it's going to automatically end my recording. So that's another way you can end the recording. Something here to stop recording. So you can see when I click here. So that is how you can record a PowerPoint a video using PowerPoint. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. So you can go ahead and create a video now on PowerPoint and share it wherever you want to share. Now, I hope this video was helpful to you. Again, please hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. And do not forget to turn on notification bell to get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much and see you guys next time.